And hi, and my name is Jenna Davison, but I'm also known as uh, Jenna Delaney Jewellery, as you can see behind me. Uh, I'm sitting here in my jewellery workshop. Um, but today, I'm not going to speak about my jewellery. I'm going to talk about um, my personal journey uh, uh, that I'm on just now. I'm not very good um, at talking about personal things. I don't like to post lots on social media media about my private life uh, and things like that but I'm on this new uh, fitness and well-being journey and I wanted to share um, my progress with you. <coughs> um, basically for those of you that know me they, uh, you know I've been through quite a lot the past uh, two years. Um, going back to the 24th of March last year, uh, woke up just like a normal day, um, got, I've got a normal uh, appointment with a midwife and uh, I go to the appointment and I, I just don't really feel, I don't feel like everything's okay but um, something feels a bit strange. Um, so um, we sit and chat for a wee bit and then uh, she does the reg normal tests and checks and everything and suddenly she says there's no heartbeat and your life just totally flips. Been preparing um, to have a baby um, we knew we were having a boy. Um, I was basically four weeks to go. Uh, we had um, a planned section date and the bedroom um, was all ready. All the clothes were already organised um, and all the drawers and things. So basically we were all excited, ready for a baby coming and suddenly the midwife tells us that there's no heartbeat and then suddenly your your life has just totally flipped and um, my husband wasn't with me at the time I was just in there on my own and um, my dad and my wee girl were actually in the car uh, waiting on me and I'd been in um, with the midwife for quite some time so I think I actually had some missed calls from my dad but I didn't have very good reception um, so basically she sent us up to the hospital and she says I could be wrong um, you'll need to go up to the hospital so thankfully my husband was off this day as well uh, and I was trying to get a hold of him but I couldn't get a hold of him and uh, he um, finally uh, got back to me and um, he'd headed, headed to pick me up uh, from the doctors and we were basically heading right up to nine miles. So like everything, like everything's in a panic, like you're kind of like in shock. My, my husband like was just like, oh no, no, it's, it's okay. Like they'll be wrong, they'll be wrong. But I knew in myself that everything wasn't going to be okay. So, it's still like obviously really emotional. Um, time. Uh, um, so we go to the hospital, we're waiting about for a while. They take us into the place where we were, where we actually had the normal scans and everything with other people who were pregnant. And it was just horrendous. It was just a horrible, horrible experience. And then we had to wait and wait. And we had one doctor coming in and saying, yep, there's no heartbeat. Then we waited again. Then they had another person coming in to double check. Yep, there's no heartbeat. And uh, and then another person. And then uh, the, same, the same news again. And my husband just like, was just completely in shock and just was still thinking that they were going to tell us and say that everything was okay. But it wasn't going to be okay. Um, so they took us to like the private uh, suite and they looked after us really well there. So 
I just wanted to give you like the kind of background of like that story from from going back from then over well actually from today it's a year and a month exactly to the date that we we lost our baby boy so um this year in february the 24th um i it's it was coming up for it was a, one more month till we hit our year our year anniversary since we lost him and um obviously my body had been through it so much um but I thought I was like should start feeling a bit better by now by then and um I'd been still trying to eat healthy trying to do my yoga you know doing my jewelry business doing my meditation um but nothing was working like my energy levels were so low my um i put i could not for some reason i just was not able to lose the weight uh after we lost nathan and i just felt so so tired all the time i just had no energy um and I just felt like this it just isn't me. Um, I used to be like really highly motivated, used to have a lot of energy, used to really enjoy like going out quite like long physical walks. I did a lot of yoga, used to, like really just full of energy always and really motivated all the time. But I just felt something in, in my body just it wasn't quite right so I went to the doctor and they did all the tests I thought oh maybe my thyroid's not right and stuff um but uh, and I thought there's maybe some sort of hormone levels let off and I thought maybe oh it's maybe early menopause or something because I'm like just so tired all the time no motivation I'm not losing weight my metabolism just wasn't the same um so I was just like, I need, something needs to be done here, like, I just want to, it's something wrong within, within my body. Um, so go to the doctor, they do all the tests, comes back saying, no, everything's fine. Um, you're basically just depressed and uh, you should go on um, antidepressants. And, I was, and then there was just something that uh, flicked inside of me and I was just like, no, actually. I don't think I need to go on them. Um, I want to like try and see within my body like what what ne what needs fixed. Um, and with the stages that we're at, um, I just um, I just thought it was really bad advice uh, that the doctor was was given us. Um, I knew in myself that the the antidepressants would make me feel like really bad. Um, I'm not I'm not uh, going against like anyone who's on them, and I, I know they've worked for a lot of people. Uh, but for me personally, I'm very sensitive to any type of drug. When I first got diagnosed with my underactive thyroid, um, my um, when I first went on to level thyroxine, uh, it affected me for about two years. Um, anything hormonal like that uh, takes ages to adjust in your body. And I was never on the pill, never took anything like that when I was younger. So my body has all just been like natural. I always do like herbal remedies and I try not to put loads of toxins into my, my body and things like that. So this like if I take any medication it affects me like really badly. Um and so I just knew that I didn't want to go down that route. So something like changed um in my mindset and I was just like no I have to look at um helping helping myself and while I was pregnant with um, Nathan, um, I'd started like a program um, to help me like eat healthy and stuff like that, a fitness program. And I was still in contact with that coach. Um, and I'd still um, been, so she'd, she obviously knew what had happened to me and um, she was just like 
still touching base with me during the whole year that I uh, that I'd lost Nathan, and she was just checking in to see if I was okay. Even though I still I wasn't doing the program anymore, she was just like really good, and um and just just checking in, sending me a wee message every now and then, maybe like every month or so. I don't know how frequent it was. Just always just like we we checking in, and then um she's. We were kind of look like look. Um, I told her what the doctor had said to me, and and she just thought it was like terrible. Um, it sounded like it might have been like perimenopausal, and the more I looked into it, I was thinking like that. That's probably what it is. Um, so, <clears throat> um, I just wanted to kind of just have a deep dive into my body and try and work out well. Like why why am I like not losing weight when I when I had Juliet like I lost the weight really quickly probably because I was like breastfeeding and things like that, but with Nathan I just could not seem to lose the weight and I um was and if anything like I actually like felt like bigger I like I I was like not not like fitting into any of my clothes at all like months and months later since we, like we'd lost him and I just don't know like I wasn't eating like like really loads and loads of stuff um I was still trying to eat healthily I was still trying to do my yoga uh, practice every day and still do my meditation and stuff so I just couldn't understand why my metabolism was so slow and my energy levels were so low so um Anyway, I spoke to uh, my coach and um, she suggested like starting this like completely new uh, fitness uh, uh, regime, fitness nutrition and mind mindfulness uh, mindset um, uh, regime. And um, at first, I was just like, "Okay, oh, it's not going to work." I've been I've been eating healthy. I still do my yoga and stuff like that, but I thought, well that that's not working on its own so maybe with combining like complete uh, nutritional cl clear out um extra nutritional drinks and doing like really like physical workouts like over and above my yoga to see how it would work she was like right you can try it for like the first month and see like how you got on and you can just like cancel at any time so anyway um I, I started it on uh, four weeks for everybody and that was part of the full um, like a new uh, four weeks uh, gut protocol uh, was part of it as well and uh, so basically you did the workout and then you jumped right into like the nutrition so it was like the workout and the nutrition was like feeding itself and it and it and it kinda helped you as I think that really really did help me because I feel um that normally when I do a workout or any other workout the nutrition's not like part of it. Um but with that one it really got me to look at what I was eating, um like when I was eating, the sizes of the portions, um like how much sugar I was putting in to my body um and alcohol as well um and um the gut protocol basically cuts out dairy and gluten as well which makes it even harder and uh, it also um yeah you're not allowed to like drink alcohol although they say like okay if if you're gonna have like one drink like so like mix it with the food and make sure you don't like take one of the containers away so you can have like a small glass of wine or something um but I was like all in like just going to try it for the first like uh, four weeks and um gluten-free <coughs> dairy-free no no alcohol um so it it was a major 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 push to do that um so I started that on uh, the 27th of February and now it's the 24th of April and um, I'm still I'm still doing it um, I'm feeling 
like physically stronger in my body. Um, I'm feeling um, like my mindset is like a lot more positive as well. And um, like I'm, I'm just feeling like st stronger men mentally, physically. My, bo my body's starting to kind of get a little bit back into its shape. Um, feeling a lot more toned just within uh, basically that month and a bit. Um, so I don't want to, I don't normally share like personal, personal things on Facebook and uh, on social media and stuff like that. But I thought it would be a good, a good chance to just start, um, like sharing my journey, um, seeing like how it's helping me because I'm sure there's like loads of women out there who are the same they've been feeling really tired lately maybe um their their hormones are like maybe out of sync um you just you're maybe just like i've just felt like i was stuck in a rut and there was nothing was like changing um and i just felt i had to do something to kind of get me out of this rut so um I'm <clears throat> going to post this video and I want to um, try and like be accountable and um, there's no way like I'm at the end of my like fitness journey it's always like a, a constant thing that you work on um, and I just feel that I'm, I'm in a much better place now than what, when I was back in February um and i'm wanting to share the progress of uh, what i'm doing um so yeah so feel free to um like comment and um if you want to join me and and, and do some of the the programs and things that i'm doing just yeah, get getting get in touch as well and we can like um work out together on the same programs and like help each other with motivation uh, it's always good to like kind of have a bit of accountability and a kind of um, workout partner um i've never uh, been one who loves to like sweat out at the gym uh, that's why i thought oh my god like what have i got myself in for here um i've i much prefer like just like going out for walks um and doing just like doing yoga uh i'm i'm not I've never been very good at doing like cardio I absolutely hate like getting out of breath and um pushing myself that way so i'm really um i'm really really pushing myself to um uh, get, get through the workouts and things like that but i'm actually starting to enjoy it now that it's um now that i've been doing it for like over a month and a bit um so yeah, so if you um, want to uh, comment or like you get in touch with me and come come and join me on this journey, then that would be great. Just like send me a wee message, um, and hopefully I'll start getting into posting like more wee videos every maybe every week or maybe once once a month. Just see how I get on. Um, so yeah, so I'm um, going to go for now, um, the next ones hopefully won't be so personal but I just wanted to like put um, like my proper like story out there to like why I really wanted to um, like focus on like my, my health and fitness um, and you needed to know like the story behind it. Um, to like where where I've came from in the past like over a year and a bit now to where, where I am now and 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 then this is like the still the very start of my fitness journey um and um yeah so if I want you to if if you want to join me on it just message me um so yeah speak soon bye